I wanted to take a couple of minutes and talk a, a little bit about the Heights Tower. Very, very well engineered, put together uh, extremely well. Uh, this is a 45 foot. Uh, show you the base and a couple of things about to uh, make it a little bit easier for you to assemble the motor. This is a tilt over and uh, a couple of uh, things that might make it a little bit easier on uh, aligning uh, the motor and the shaft to the brackets. This installation required a 48 inch diameter uh, base. We knew that we were going to hit bedrock about four feet down. So we dug a six foot by six foot hole, uh, about four feet deep. We used a piece of culvert piping and set that on the bedrock and leveled it out. The six foot uh, by six foot hole wound up being about seven foot by seven foot. And we filled that with uh, about three and a half feet of concrete to add support. I highly recommend using Heights Tower rebar cage and not trying to build your own. This is the legs for the Heights Tower inside the rebar cage, uh, ready for concrete. And the finished product, we knew we were going to have to bring in about four uh, feet of fill dirt that's going to go in here uh, to bring this up to grade. Uh, there is about uh, eight yards of concrete between the base and the column. I recommend that you take the motor and mount it to the bracket first on a flat surface. Then take your all thread rod and get it parallel to the shaft. Slide your nuts and your collar on and adjust everything on the floor first before you try to install it on the tower. It makes it a lot easier. And we finally have the uh, two lower sections are 12 foot and the two upper sections are 8 foot. And we've got it now up into the uh, raised position. Uh, a couple of precautions. Anytime that you go over to tilt it over, come back in and make sure that you check the set screws in uh, both your nuts here. Uh, I actually had this one back off on me. Uh, one day when I was lowering it down here a couple weeks ago and what that will do is that will actually start pulling this coupling off the shaft. It's just a kind of a press fit. Um, uh, I've been talking to them, uh, trying to talk to them. I want to get a second nut. I want to actually double nut uh, this area in here with the set screws. But I do find that the set screw on one of these just loosens up upper one I don't have any problem with but the lower one the set screws seem to uh, back off a little bit on me but I check all of the allen bolts make sure everything's tight uh, before I do uh, tilt it over